Hey guys, I'm just going to show you how to use some sanitary items to start a fire. Um, I'll talk wildfires through it and um, see how good we are. Uh, many men may not have anything to do with these for one reason or another, but they do come in handy to put in your bug out bags. So we'll test him out and see how he goes. Alright, we'll try this one. Just take the wrapping off. Gentle. You have I'll have that rubbish. And just pull the, well, don't rub it. Do not flush. Don't flush. Just, I don't know, pull the. What are the wings? These bits? The wings are just a high bit. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But just oh, yeah, try I and gotcha. separate the top from the middle. Yeah. No thanks, I'll have your rubbish. Should we go in without knives or, or do you think Whatever you have. Do you have a knife? I'll go, I'll go with very limited fingernails. So a bit of a... Even better. A bit of, oh, this is, oh, I see. Does he have all this... Stuff. What do you call it? It's absorbent. Yeah, Lucky absorbent stuff. stuff. Oh, this is like the bark. It's very um, fragile, I might say. I don't think you'd need even a whole one of these, would you? I could probably cut it in, in half or something. Yeah, save, save, uh, cons like, um, conserve like conserve resources. Yep. Yeah. All there, isn't it? Use as much as you need. So if we just sort of like put some of that there. I'll show you how to quickly start a fire with pull that. Pull it apart a bit. What about some of that material? Is that, does that burn through that stuff? That should do. It's only cotton, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, see, it's all stuck there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I have um, don't use this products very often. But, no, well you're but fine. At least, no. at least now, you know, rather than rather than having to wait till the day I need to use it. But. Well, that's true, mate. I mean, yeah. let's be realistic. You know, males don't use these sanitary uh, products for their intended use, and uh, hence we don't know what they're actually made of most of the time. So for fire lighting, we've you know we've got to um, look at it from that that angle, and that's that's a fact of life. That's the reality of it. Probably can't see that because of the sun and the wind, but that's. I see a flame there, mate. Yep, that's good. It's cooking. Even my bark here is yep. starting to catch it. It's a windy day, so it's sort of probably. I don't have to blow or anything like that. I just. That's good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that is uh, stringy Blasted. bark, bark too, mate. Yeah. Stringy I, bark. Yeah. So the inside of it, um, the way you started your fire was good. Yeah, it's good stuff. Any. That's the um, the underbark on it. Hmm. That's good. Okay, what's the next item? All right. Well, before we continue, I just cut the rest of it off, and just going to fold it back up and just wrap it back up for another fire. Yep. Yep. So we only use half of the. Well. A little bit. We yeah. didn't even use half, did we? No. No, that's good. That's pretty good. Conserving your resources. Now we're going to use tampons to start a fire. Okay. Twist opposite directions. Oh! Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, let's see that. Let's pull the string up. And just pinch the top of it out with, you know, both sides. So this is pretty, pretty soft string, this one. This is just like a cotton or something. So what do I do? Just pull on it? No, no, just pinch it from the sides. That's just the one way I did it anyway. Just feather it out, I feather guess. It out, yeah. Yep. It's like an inside out cotton wool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you probably don't even need that much of this thing either. So, one of these, probably in one of these containers, is probably the, sufficient. It's probably all I need to start. Depending yeah. on how much, you know, other resources I've got and yeah. how damp everything is. That's right, yeah. Um, but, you know, because I'm minimalistic and and like to waste things. Should we give that a go? Let's give it a go. It's still a bit warm this one. Oh no, no, she's right now. Don't want to cheat too much. No cheating today mate. No cheating. You, you guys did everything the way you wanted to do it and worked out well. Alright. She just wrapped it up a bit I thought. I might try the little one. Try the little sparky? I'll try the little one um, in, in, in flight. I 
need to push on that more. Oh, that was poor. That's it. It's away. You're a fire, baby. <laughs> it's probably hard to see. I, I could feel it. And um, you can see how quick it melts. So. Bit of, bit of bark there. there. That's good. Right there and, oh. Okay. So even if you're not a, not a female, you always should have these in your pack. Yeah, and you don't even need time. a whole one. You only need... Well, even for fire lighting, I mean, no sanitary napkins are also good in first aid kits um, for field dressings too. So that that's a dual purpose use yeah. for them. I guess if I got a cut or something and, and, and hit a vein or something, you know, you can stick this on and yep, till you get medical help. Yeah, get some gaffer tape and just tape it up and keep the pressure down. What about these ones? What's wrong with that? All right, guys. Well, this one. Do you have ever sore arm or something? Oh, oh I see. Your arm, you put that on. Hang on, I'll get a close up of that. Oh, I see. It up. Okay. Yeah. Many purposes, many uses. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll wrap it up there. Thank thanks thanks very much, Button Nose, for that explanation. Thank you, Fireflies. And for us thank you, Wildflies, for Fireflies. your right. participation. <laughs> I'm, Wildfire, yeah. yeah, it turned out very well. A bit uh, uh, you guys did really well today. I know I turned it into a competition, but. Um, oh. Oh, it's a fun way to learn. It is, and you tried, you lit the fires two different ways, and they both worked. So uh, that's really great, really great. Thanks very much. Thank you, Dragon. You're welcome.